Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. We're doing an Xfinity Hot Seat Race at Kentucky today in the number 98 Eric Amarillo car. So we'll see what we can do there. Last race was at the Truck Series at uh, Kentucky as well. We had a relatively good race going, and then for some reason we had an absolutely abysmal pit stop, and it kind of screwed our chances of winning. But at least it was better than the other race before that, which was at Iowa or something where the game stopped on us. Yeah, so... Anyways, Kentucky is going to be interesting to see what we can do in a three-star car. Legend difficulty in the uh, setting, same settings as always. Just want to show you that so people don't think I'm cheating or doing something to make the game easier for me. Because Lord knows this game is easy enough as is on its own. So, Without further ado, I'm just going to head straight into qualifying, put in a default setup, and see where we start here. Off turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. I don't think it'll be very good. The car felt really slow. And 39th, okay. Why, why do I even try uh, we're like what, eight tenths of a second off, so we're not a second behind, so that's the only uh, pro I can see out of that. Grab the race about to begin, get ready, and the green flag's out. We're underway here at Kentucky. It's a night race. I think it's 26 laps in the Xfinity race. I know we got 15 laps in the fuel, and yeah, 26 laps, so we'll see how this kind of plays out. Uh, I think our goal is like 22nd, 25th. I can't remember exactly again, but. Uh, normally are always so much better in the race trim than qualifying. Just AIs are way too OP in this game, but oof. Got in the car along there just for a little bit. Already moved up a few spots. Just going to try to be careful and not run into these guys. I want this race to kind of play out. Again, I'm just going to take two tires like I've been doing because I don't want to take four and lose like 20 spots. So that's that's at least the plan. I feel, I feel like I'm going to do that for nearly every race in the crew mode except for probably a select few. Depending on how when we go, what tracks we go to, maybe like Dover or something. Because I don't know what it is. Just no matter what, it just seems like you always have slow pit stops. We're getting to the inside of Garrett Smithley. I actually got his name right, and like for once, and I always get confused with him, Chastain, and Harrison Rhodes because they're like the three same paint schemes, nearly the same paint scheme. But we're gonna get. To Clear him, get to side by side with Ben Kennedy. We're getting the draft from David Starr, I think. I think Suarez started on the pole, so. Let's see if uh, he can win, I guess, but. Already moving up through the field pretty well. Again, this is a three star uh, rated car. About the, I'm assuming at least the same level of greatness as the same tier as Morgan Shepard's car, I'm assuming. But, yeah, I just feel like that Michigan race just broke my heart, because that, that race should have been like. With, we should have easily gotten that goal of top 25 or, or better, and it's just, oh man, that breaks my heart. It's being a top 25, we're in 25th, so, all right. Oof! Oh, sorry, Joey Gase, I, oh, oh, God, oh. I don't know, he just, they just all stop behind. God! They just, they just slowed down so much. Oh, well, we're not going to pit, but damn, that's, oh my god. Well, let's get this back going again. That fucking sucks. That's, oh god. They were just slowing down so much in front of me, and I tried to evade it, but I just didn't. Back underway. That sucks. No, that's 12. So we're going to probably pit around lap 18 or 19, so that's going to be... Even more interesting, because that's more closer to the end of the race than what it was originally going to be, so... I have to thank myself for being stupid, I, I guess. God, that sucks. Oof, I don't know what is up with the transition baking there. It's just, all of a sudden, it's just... I don't know. That's, I, that shouldn't be like that at all. I'm just going to try to hug the bottom lane as much as we can. Is it like that in turns three and four? No, it's not. I don't understand. I, there's no banking that's like such a drastic dip like that. Also, I don't want to go below the, the yellow line here in the trioval or try it's straight away or whatever, because the car just it it does that weird thing like it'll do at Daytona around the back straightaway, where if you go below it and they kind of come back up, the car will just it'll just wreck. It just it, it'll hit an imaginary bump and then just spin out. So I don't know what the deal with that is. As I'm talking about that, Justin Algar is sideways. He goes right in front of somebody. And oh my god, Blake Cook, somebody else. Tyler Reddick, I think. And there goes Justin Algar's race. Just like in uh, the real life uh, night race at Kentucky in the Xfinity playoff race. That's a little bit scary how 
there was some sort of issue in that real level. But then again, he came, he came back to do well, so I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, we're in 15th. I don't think we're going to win the race or anything, but the car's okay. It's definitely lacking speed. I can really feel it in straightaways. As long as we're in a draft with somebody, we at least have half a shot, so... I don't know. We're just going to ride these next couple laps out, assuming we can't catch anybody else, because it just doesn't have enough speed. If you had a four-star rated car, then it might be adequate in straightaways. I don't know the, the, the pure, fundamental rigonometry of all the damn star rating cars and their performance. I'm assuming just maybe the speed improves, because, I mean, the handling isn't bad, so I'm assuming it's just maybe the overall speed. I don't know. We dipped the outside wall a little bit, but I guess we're just going to be in 15th for now. Really can't go anywhere else, so... It's going to wait until we pit in about maybe 7 laps or 6 laps. I don't know. No, we're just going to have to wait. Goddamn Blake Cook. <laughs> Jeez, he just drove right around me. Well, that all guy incident didn't hold him up all too much, apparently. He just... <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was insane. Oh, a net in the outside wall! Damn, something that's kind of similar to what all guy experienced, but in turn two. That was really weird. Junior Motorsports is having an awful night. I better not be Elliot Sadler, because <laughs> then I wouldn't know when the hell my car is going to die on me, because it's two, two G, uh, Junior Motorsports cars. That's that's weird. Yeah, I'm heading down Peril this time by. The car went down in two laps on fuel. Please, Brubble, give me... Oh, oh my God, it's going to end badly. Nope, it's not. Okay. Okay, slow down. I know Pit Road entry is early. Where is it? I can't see it. We're losing a lot of time. Oh, okay. All right, two tires, not repair damage. We'll see what happens. 10.9 seconds and they're out in the way. We'll see where we cycle out when this is all done. Obviously, nearly everybody's going to have to pick because I don't think anybody did in that very, very first caution that I, that I caused. So I don't know. But we're in 36 right now. Everybody should be pitting, so... We did undercut the field a little bit, so I'm going to be a little bit curious to see where, we're, where we will cycle out. So. Just going to have to wait and see. We're in 36 right now, and oh my god, what? Carl Long, how is he... E oh, frame rate dropped again, but Carl Long, how is he able to see? And yeah, there's a big log jam down pit road, so that's going to help us out a bit. I don't know how many are even on the lead lap. The leaderboard doesn't update very fast, so it's... I just don't know. I guess we're just going to have to... Go around another lab to see if we're going to gain any more extra positions, which I hope we do. All right, let's see how many spots we'll gain. There's definitely a lot of cars leaving pit roads, so that should cycles, cycle us back to where we were before Blake Cook trying to merge in front of me, so that's lovely. But we're going to move up into 13th, which is good. We might be able to get by Daryl Wallace, but 13th will be great. We were like running like 15th, 16th, somewhere on there, so uh, this, is, uh, this is a good step up from where we were. So undercutting the field paid off a little bit. Blake looks right on my ass. I think I messed up his name, but <laughs> yeah, he's so much faster. Like, he was he was able to get by me before in the first run of the race, so I'm not really going to be shocked. He was on fresher tires, assuming he, t he took four, so yeah, he gets around me no problem. Should He should be able to get by Daryl Wallace as well, but you never know what the finishing results. This could be all for nothing, and we're going to just magically finish ahead of him because Daryl Wallace isn't meant to finish better than 17th, apparently. I I, I don't know. Let's just... This race is almost over. Let's just ride this out. We got a pretty good gap from uh, 15th, so 3.6 seconds, as you see, so... We should be able to be comfortably set in 14th. My flag is out for ourselves. One more time around the racetrack. Bubble Wallace has kind of pulled away from me by a little bit, so I'm kind of just stuck in my own little zone. Ben Rhodes is definitely gaining on me. So... Or Brandon Brown, or... Brandon... Brandon... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But, yeah, these catch me just a little bit, but not enough time, but... We're going to head through turns 3 and 4, and we're going to bring it home in P14. Assuming the leaders have already crossed the line, considering this 14, yeah, 16 second gap, so. Yeah, here we come, across the line, P14. I'll take it. We get our sponsor objective, or team objective, I should say, so. We did everything we need to do in that race, except for uh, dumping that Joey Gase guy that didn't do anything wrong, so. I'm sure he's going to be very angry with me. I don't, I, at some point. <laughs> oh, God. Who won the race? Because I don't... I don't really know. 
Bubble Walls finished 13th. Okay, so the game put him where, where he actually should finish. So that's good to see. And Al Geyer and Annette have a horrible day. Ross has changed not too well. Eric Jones won the race. Jeremy Clements fourth. Wow. So good run for him. All right. So that was uh, it went pretty uh, okay. And we're still doing better than uh, Carl Long and Ray Black Jr. And we only did like four races or something. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Nice job about Top 25 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for ride next season. Okay, thank you. So we get a little bit of uh, money for that payout, and we now finally cracked over a million, so that's nice. Next race is a truck race on Wednesday, and I think I know what this is. Payout, we're going to go with challenging, and it's Eldora. Oh, baby, I can't wait to do this one. I've been waiting for this for quite some time to do in the career mode. It's the one and only dirt race of the truck series, so... We're going to see what we can do there. I'm looking forward to it. So that's where this video will end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate it. Love you back and support all you guys. Give me in the comment section below and as well as the liking video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Also, a big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters Adele Reynolds, Braden Hill, Scott Browning, and Mark Kolar. Again, I really appreciate you guys donating the amount you did. And I can't say it again. And I can't express just how much I appreciate it. I'll see you all guys at Eldor in the Truck Series race. Can we win it? Can we actually redeem ourselves from the past two truck races? And just have to wait and find out. So, I'll see you all there, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.